Hey guys, welcome to another session from OnlineMoneyBee.com. In this session, we'll go over on a process to do a keyword research for your Bing PPC campaigns. If you are trying to promote offers from multiple streams, you might need to have the list of keywords that are relevant to your offer or your seed keyword, right? How do you go and get all those things? There is no need to pay too much amount or, you know, there is no need to spend any dollars to do all this research. There are many platforms available online, guys. I'll show you how to use all those free platforms and pick up this huge list of keywords and then do the research in such a way that they are specifically applicable for Bing PPC campaigns. It really doesn't make any sense, right? Getting something that is not applicable for Bing is not going to help you anyway. So if you find a keyword which is being searched thousand times on Google but never being searched on Bing, then there is no use in spending money or spending efforts in writing an ad copy or creating a landing page for that particular offer, right? So I'm going to show you the process on how to analyze and understand if the keywords that you identified from all these different networks is actually applicable or is going to be useful for your Bing PPC campaigns or not. So stick on with me, guys. I'm going to dive into how to do this right away. So I hope by this time you have the huge list of these keywords if you don't have just don't worry go to google keyword planner go to bing keyword research go to kwfinder.com keyword tool io ubersuggest.io and keywordspy.com and wordstream.com slash keyword planner if you want all these i mean if you're not aware of any of these links don't worry i'm leaving all the links below in the description or just reach out to us at any point in time if you are stuck in this process. Don't worry, don't hesitate. I'm also going to leave an email ID below the in the, in the below description. So reach out to me in case if you need any help in this, I'll be happy to help you. So once you get the consolidated list of all these keywords, so how do you get the consolidated list? Simple guess, just go into each of these platforms, do a keyword research. Once you get those keyword res keywords, just copy them copy each of them into a single excel spreadsheet so that way you will get a huge list of keywords to begin with so if you see here this is how i got all these keywords if you see the column a i collected all this information from multiple keywords like keyword research platforms and once i received them what i am doing is i am trying to find out the unique keywords from this list so what I simply do is I select this uh, keywords and then uh, come to the filter and apply filter and then come to the advanced tab and then click unique only unique records only and then choose the location where you want to save and I, I clicked here so this is the reason why I have got two lists here so once if you if you understand here I've got a total of 4876 keywords to begin with and when I made them uh, unique list I got 2551 keywords not a bad list of keywords to begin with right now this is not what we are actually worried about from here using these 2551 keywords we will analyze and understand how many of these are relevant to Bing actually so what I'll do is um, I'll open Bing Ads intelligence tool so Bing Ads intelligence tool is a Excel add-on that is uh, provided by Bing as such. So I cannot open that in my Mac. I have to open it on a remote machine. So you might see a little difference in the interfaces here. So I am copying all these and I am taking them onto my other Windows machine where I have got the Bing Ads intelligence tool running. So I'll quickly go over that. So I pasted all my keywords from the other Excel spreadsheet into this Excel spreadsheet. So this is the spreadsheet where I have already installed my Bing Ads intelligence uh, add-on. So if you see here, there is a tab on the top which says what is the Bing Ads intelligence. So we will use certain features of this um, add-on to uh, do the analysis uh, that is relevant to Bing. So if you understand here, guys, we have got around uh, 2,551 keywords. And so if you understand, guys, Bing ads will work very well for you if your ad quality is good and if your CTR is high. 
So that way it will be beneficial for you to reduce your CPCs at a later point in time as well, right? So we need to make sure that the keywords that we are choosing are most relevant to our offers and the ad copies that we are writing are also most relevant to our offers. So analyzing these 2,551 keywords and writing ad copies is not going to be an easy task, right? And that's the reason we are doing this process to furthermore streamline the number of keywords that we received and research them to understand how many of these are actually relevant to the offer that we are promoting on the Bing Ads platform. So what I'm going to do is the first thing that I'm going to do or I can do is by quickly clicking on keywords performance and understanding what are the what is the performance of these keywords on Bing platform for previous period. So before I do that, let me remove this word keywords now just click on keyword performance and then use the match type as aggregate and then click on submit so this is going to go ahead and pull out the performance of these keywords like number of clicks number of impressions what is the ctr for these keywords already on the bing okay so once you get this information what you will do is click on impressions and do a largest to smallest now once you do this Understand the most searched keywords among the keywords list that we have already chosen. So this is showing me hip pain, hip replacement, hip rehab exercises, hip joint pain treatment, hip pain causes. So understand a little about this guys. So this is telling among the keywords that we have chosen, there is a keyword which is little relevant to our offer but not mostly relevant, right? Because if you try to create an ad group with hip pain and if someone is someone who is trying to do a research for their hip pain surgery or something else we are wasting our click over there and if you see here hip replacement this is not the relevant keyword for our offer right so we need to do some more analysis to understand uh, these keywords are relevant to our offer or not what i can uh, exp uh, what i can suggest you in this particular offer is let's go back to the sheet the master keyword list and uh, if we try to analyze uh, how did we start our search our root keyword that we used was hip flexors and now there is a possibility that hip can have other combination which may impact our campaigns right so flexors is the one that we are basically concentrating uh, to get a solution for so what i can suggest is Try to get the subset of these keywords which are relevant to only flexors. So what I'll do is I'll say keyword again and then come to the data and then do a filter and then say give me the keywords that contains flexors in it. Flexor in them. So what this is going to help us with is we got 2550 keywords which are relevant to hip flexors and now we are pulling out only a subset of these keywords which are related to flexor treatment now i am going to get the performance for these keywords only so i will paste them here now we have 120 sorry 1298 keywords and then let's go ahead to the Bing Ads Intelligence and get the performance. Now I'll go ahead and do exact phrase broad and then click on submit. So this way I'm going to get keywords that are more relevant to my offer that I'm promoting. I'm promoting unlock hip flexors. I have already got hip flexor related keywords and now I am taking only flexor related keywords so this way I am targeting my offer very closely now if you see here now let's do the same thing again before we do any further research do a largest to smallest see exercises for hip flexors exercises for the hip flexors hip flexor exercises best hip flexor exercises now we have got how many keywords we have got here um, 1298 keywords right so among these keywords if we keep on 
doing some more research and understand how many of these are actually being searched on Bing today and how many should we actually target for our list might go much lesser so what I'll show you is quickly come to the top and do a reverse sorting like smallest to largest and see see these keywords are not actually working that well on on Bing so these are not needed to be targeted for so what we'll do uh, let me take something like um, let's do a filter saying show me the keywords which got impressions more than say 300 okay now we have got a filtered set of keywords let's see how many did we get we got 49 keywords okay so what this is telling is, is there are 49 keywords which are going to get minimum of more than 300 impressions so this is a list that we can work with and try to create our campaigns for just think about this guys analyzing 1298 keywords and writing relevant ad copies is more tedious than writing ad copies for uh, just 49 keywords right uh, I mean relevant keywords so go ahead and use these 49 keywords and try to set up your campaigns one thing that you may need to observe here is the 49 that keywords that we got from the search uh, a few minutes back may not exactly have 49 distinct keywords so go ahead and try to check on what are the unique keywords that you just got from this out of this 49 and create campaigns accordingly so now you are gonna have a laser targeted keywords that are specific to your campaigns this is gonna definitely help you to achieve more click through rates at lower costs and having an effective campaigns and thanks for watching this guys and don't forget to you know like and subscribe to our channel if you think this video has helped you to find the best keywords for your Bing PPC campaigns thanks once again talk to you guys again in another video bye for now